Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to when Thurs welcome to Thursday, Friday. Welcome to Friday. Hey, you doing? It's Friday. Hey, it's a Friday. <laughs> yep. Every week I miss T um, Throwback Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm always thinking to myself, this is a great picture for Throwback Thursday on Instagram. And then what happens? All day Thursday I have Throwback Thursday amnesia. Mm -hmm. And then Friday comes and I'm like, it's Thursday. And someone says, it's Friday. And I say, well, there goes another week. So I've got like a thousand pictures to post. So next Thursday, I'm literally going to post a thousand pictures. Does that work for you? Yes, yes. The rate of IUD insertions did go up after the election. Huge data set reveals 19% increase in women getting coils since Trump's win in November. It was the opposite. Nobody wanted to have babies. Anymore because <laughs> Trump administration. Yeah. I find that so that's actually going to reduce health care prices. Donald Trump has vowed to reform the Affordable, Air Cat, uh, Affordable Care Act, which covers all FDA-approved birth control without cost to those with insurance. There was a flurry of interest over IUDs, long-lasting contraception, in November. Some feared the reforms could affect ACA funding and contraception. Oh, so it's not necessarily more people were using it. It's just that, oh, I guess it was more people using it. I really, I really miss, uh, I love what I'm doing at Nightly News, but... There was something about doing it today, so it allowed you to just be who you are, yeah. and people know your likes and your dislikes and your quirks and all that. Yeah. And uh, nightly news, you know, it's 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 down to this twenty two minutes. Right. And a lot of news to cover. Right. Um, so inside, I'm making funny, jokey comments sometimes, but they don't come out of my mouth. Anymore. No, they don't. I don't hear. I never hear funny things come out of your mouth as yeah. much as I used to. Well, I mean, the news has been pretty serious of late. But, yeah. Uh, but I'm, it's, it's a new adventure. All right. Let's get back to business. Okay. Uh, this is a serious one. Does your business card say the man on it? <laughs> uh, number five, are you still afraid of snakes? Definitely. Anything Definitely. else? What's your I was watching. Name? I was watching a movie. Um, I was on the train going to these here today, and I downloaded this movie. It's called... What's say snakes on a plane? Is it Yerko? <laughs> it's, it's, um, anyways, it's, um, but there's a scene in there with these rattlesnakes. And I was, I'm on the train, I was literally doing this, like, but, really? Yeah, it was just, it was freaking Still? me out. Still? Freaking me out. Who's your favorite correspondent to toss to whose name rhymes with Haas? Oh, I would, that's gotta be Stephanie Goss. Oh, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah. Uh, Steph, first I know, that, I actually know Steph. First name that came to That mind. popped into your head, yeah. okay. Uh, we're sitting here with, I mean, actor, producer, author, choreographer, all-around <laughs> stud, spirited personality, right. Tay Diggs. So, right. you talked about TV being far-reaching. I think mm -hmm. I left TV to come do this, and what I love about this mm -hmm. is that these people are are so close to you right now, right? They're literally just an iPhone away from you. <laughs> so, if that. someone has a comment or a question, like it, it gets to you instantaneously, as opposed to TV, where there's like 17 levels or layers before you would oh, ever wow. hear from someone. Right, and right, that, right. I think, is what I love most about this. Right. Let's go. See, cool. like I could stop and be like, "What's going yeah, on?" Right, we right. had another couple over, a, a husband and wife. Yes. Husband's playing with little Harper, the three-year-old on the Great floor, name. and she. Oh, thank you. Harper and Quinn are my two little girls. So Harper's playing with this guy, and all of a sudden she stops and she turns to me and she goes, "I'm gonna call him Daddy." And she didn't. She doesn't mm. know from mm. Daddy. I, and Steph and I were like, oh, "Well, let's just wait. Why don't you call him Dan? Dan's better than Daddy." <laughs> <laughs> it was just too hard to explain. And then I thought, "I'm speaking to Tay tomorrow. Like, yeah. you, you're that's great inspiration for me to sit down. And maybe there's a book there or something about mm -hmm. talking to your kid about what they perceive as normal. Yeah, but, yeah, You know, yeah. which is just becoming even yes. more normal. But I totally understand where you're coming from. Yeah, let's cool. do it. Okay. I'll, chore I'll choreograph it. All right. Yeah. So we <laughs> you can... know what commercial I'm talking about? The Cheerios one. Yes, where the parents, the mom is dancing with the daughter. The yes, dad is it's sweet. It's, it's so, so awesome. sweet. The other Cheerios commercial I like is the um, the the, um, the interracial couple. That one gets me every time. They, Every I hope they, they're winning time. awards. Because that's that a really great. sweet one. Yeah. But when Big. I was pregnant, I cried at a Frosted Flakes commercial. Yeah. Like the dad was outside playing basketball with his kids. They're like, they're great. I'm like, oh, they're yeah. so great. They're <laughs> great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a disaster. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're a sensitive guy. Oh, uh, wow. Well, so attractive. You know, Are you kidding? It's... Zach is the founder and the CEO of Instacator. Yeah. Am I pronouncing it right? You are. You are one of the very few people to get that correct. Well, as someone who has always been accused of being the instigator in my family with, with my brother and me, yes. I, I, I feel like I very much relate to the name of your company. Although, 
in reading some of your background, Instigator wasn't the, before we even tell people what Instigator is, that wasn't the original name for your yeah, company. Yeah, that's, that's right. Um, we so now that we know what in, how Instigator is pronounced, why yeah. don't we tell people what Instigator is? Uh, it is a, 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 a widget-based, uh, like, app tech, not piece of technology that sits in, or you know what, you could explain it even better. I like what you're doing with the whole thing. Did you like that? Things. What I'm was the physical that explanation? I like it. I just I felt like I needed to make a muscle and then protrude. No, no, I, I like it. I like yeah. it. Um, so, yeah, what we do at Instacator is we have a technology that we embed into publishing sites, so any kind of content site that increases engagement and ad revenue through trivia and polling content. I, I'm constantly amazed at how people are able to be as successful and also bounce. Like working out is really important to you. And I love that. Like you take the time away to make sure you work on you. Yeah. And I know it's kind of cheesy and corny. Yeah. But as someone who does the same thing and we speak to a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of successful business people who say, if I don't work on me, like this doesn't work out. And, yeah. and do you feel the same way? You nailed it. Um, so it's kind of like, I really, in the beginning that wasn't always the case. It was like, all right, I'm going to be here until three o'clock, four o'clock yes. in the morning every single yes. day. Yes. But here's the thing, that was just like, oh, that made me feel better, I know I'm putting in the hours, but the truth is, I'm so much more productive if I've actually been able to like work out and decompress, that that extra three or four hours of work is not like 30 minutes of efficiency, it's like three hours of efficiency. Right. And, and that's something I think that a lot of, some people sometimes lose sight of, and you really hit the nail on the head. You're I get asked all the time, how do you balance like career and like motherhood and everything, but it's, it's a different kind of balance with you, and it's equally as important. It's balancing what you do and how you do it, and yeah. how you do it is because you're healthy and you have the energy and you're well yeah. rested and you take care of yourself, obviously. You do jujitsu on the street if someone tries to hurt you in any way, or get on the floor, you do a mixed martial arts. I get that. Uh, and then you go to work and you yeah. take it all out on, on, on business. And business is good. Walk at all eggshells, signs being no tell. Along the way, we've had our days, a long ways in you well. Now this is not a farewell. I can't change a mind already made. I will fight till there's nothing left inside. I will push till there's no more road to pull. Still always get lost in your eyes But tonight, let's put it all aside Walk in on actually We me something I can do to make a, a meat dish a little bit less fattening is uh, adding some mushrooms to it. Yep. Just to keep the texture the same, but you just lower the fat a little bit. Yes, I'm on Facebook, RSS, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube lots, of lots of different platforms. Different platforms. Yeah. yeah. These don't have to be. I mean, look how many, look how many channels there are here. I know. And not um, Periscope. Not Periscope. <laughs> All right, how did I do? I think that's awesome. All right, what do I do with all this? Avocado toast, my absolute favorite. Whose favorite isn't it? It's so good. We're gonna do my old famous recipe. I don't even know why I said that. 
whatever. We're gonna do <laughs> avocado toast with a fried egg on top. And you can make it, I wanna say, as healthy if you want. So let's just cut this up into a few little pieces. And then once it's cut up in little pieces, we are going to move this into our bowl. That was yummy. You guys, this is, <clears throat> I've never really, not gonna lie, okay. I lie all the time about my cooking experience, but this time I'm not gonna lie. I don't really cook much. I don't wanna surprise you guys, but I will tell you that I'm kind of kicking a little ass here. Just leave yeah. it on and guess. You can't take these off. No, guess. Yeah. What do you okay. think it is? I, under I, I understand the word guess. Guess what I'm saying. Okay, what do I say? Okay, I get that, guess, okay. Guess. Doing it? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to rip, I'm trying to liberate you. That's oh, what's yeah. happening. Picking up on that. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Just... No, no, here we go, ready? Next one. Okay, okay, let's do this. She's scaring me. The next one is, I have a crush on you. Okay, ready? Can I, can I take this off? No. I, uh, ready? Uh, she would never go on Jerry Fountain. I have a crush on you. I got it! What is I it? I got it! You said I, you have a crush on me! Yes, but what was the first one? Would you rather be honest with me? All right. I'm going to ask you eight questions. Okay. Would you rather run the marathon or shave your head? Oh, shave my head. That's Would you rather run the marathon or give up sex for six months? I'll run the marathon. <laughs> 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 so you get up and you run in your body. You probably won't be able to walk for the rest you're, of your life. No. Thank okay. You. Would you rather run the marathon <laughs> or gain 20 pounds? Oh, 20 pounds is fun. <laughs> Would you rather run the marathon or give up beer for a year? I'll give up beer, that's easy. Everything. Really? Okay. Run the marathon or don't shower for two weeks and you can't tell people what you're doing. You just have to walk around and stink and go into work and go into stores or run the marathon. I'm running the marathon. All right. Would you rather run the marathon or go women's shoe shopping on Super Bowl Sunday? Mm. I'll go women's shoe shopping. Really? Yeah, I would. I would. Connor's, Connor, <laughs> with, with his bum well, hamstring would rather yeah, go run the marathon. He would give and lift his whole way across the line. He would hold his leg as he was walking. Yeah. All right, buddy. Oh! Do your push-ups, Connor. Do your push-ups so we have it in the minute for the moment of the day. Uh, I'm going to just watch you. Ready? This is top 10 according to uh, the website Some called, publication. yeah, it's a USA Today um, affiliate website. And these are the top 10 so the best are, Super Bowl ads of all time. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. This is great. Kimmel's 
Steve Harvey for this. <laughs> clearly, even in my dreams, this could not be true. But to hell with dreams. I'm done with it because this is true. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. So gracious of them. They, no, because that guy did handle it well. He handled it well, but it's not that it was so gracious. They had to. They lost. Right, but they could have just like... They could have just kept it. And <laughs> like the walk off. Like, right. yeah, maybe. Wow, can you believe that? That would be like... Uh, let me just use as an example, say, this Jenna Wolf card, because we have a bunch of them here. When we ever go back to playing games, we always play these great games on the show. I mean, literally, I pick up a card and, it, I, you know... The winner goes to, who am I? <laughs> it's, uh, here, you read it. Like, what was that? Nobody was even talking to them about that. Oh, you would throw, you would have thrown Connor. Nope, no, I would have taken right? that moment and basked in it. I would have been like, not gonna lie to you, nothing on this card says best picture. So I can do you one of two things. I can read you what's on this card, or I can stand up here and do five minutes of stand up. Guy walks into a bar, here's the best part. The bar's in New Jersey. Guys, I literally have the wrong card. You bask in it. You ready for this? Let's do it together. It's, it's gonna hurt. Okay. You're gonna feel it. That's fine. Kinda sucks. All right. Okay, ready? We're just gonna do 20 easy dips. Just your arms. Ready? Let's go. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, good, 10, 9, all the way up at the top, 7, 6, perfect, 5, 4, 3, don't stop, and 1, left leg up, let's go, 20, 19, good, 17, 16, 15, 14, let's get that leg up a little higher, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, you know where we're going with this. Last six, five. Last four, three, two, switch legs. Oh, 20, 19, 18, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last 20, both feet down. Let's go. 20, 18, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, finish it. 8, 7, 6, come on, 5 strong. 4, 3, 2, and 1. All tries? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good, huh? Yeah. Not killer. So if you're just starting, instead of doing 20 each one, do 10. Do 15. But you're really feeling your try. So we're really trying to push the shoulder blade forward and tilt it up. Now that is going to provide overhead stability for this arm to go into the torso. Okay. How many of these would you do? I uh, go by feel, but approximately 15. 15. 15 of the other, 15 of these to warm up. Okay. How do you feel, Denise? And no pain. While you're doing this, you're going to keep the elbows straight and make sure that all the movement is coming through the shoulder blade, not from the back. Okay. So a lot of people that have restriction in their shoulder or lack of range of motion, they're going to compensate with their spine. Okay. And you're going to see issues with lower back problems. So come on up. Okay, I'm going to say hello to the next five people. Of the five, see how many say hello back, okay? okay. Hey, 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 what's oh, up? Hey, good, good. What's Elder Tabor. Elder. 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 Missionary. Right. How are you doing, guys? Where are you guys from? Jenna Wolf Show. We're doing a live stream show. Awesome. Hello. How are you? Good. We just did a big thing on how many people we would walk by and say hi to who would say hi back. Oh, yeah? You guys rocked it. I was yeah. like 0 for 17, and then you came up to me. Elder, yeah. you guys. Elder. Right here. Watch out. Right there. All right, good Jesus. All right. Watch out. <laughs> 